Hi guys, in today's video I will show you how I made my new reggaeton beat. Yeah, I just show it to you how I made it and yeah. So, first of all, it's 83 BPM. It's a little bit slow, but I love it like that. So my kick is just a pattern, so it's not a full beat, but I give you just the basic um, instruments which are necessary. So the kick, you can look up the kick. That's the kick pattern. So you can look it up, you can screenshot it if you want. So yeah that's the snare sample uh, pattern so you can screenshot it if you want then next one is the shaker pattern here especially important is the velocity changes are a little bit um yeah i accentuated it a little bit the first one then a little bit down the velocity yeah that's the shaker then next one the hi-hat pattern you can now screenshot it then the perk here that's really nice the open head the guitar it's one of my midis from my brand new uh, midi guitar uh, a midi chord pack with 1000 midi chords which you can use for every genre it will come out very soon it's a very nice chord progression um, i added it to a guitar vst so my guitar vst is Ample guitar M2 light, so it's free. Then I added a piano. I made it like um, like a typical reggaeton piano. On the piano, I also made a bass note, so it's E minor, G, G major, D major, A minor is the chord progression. I support the drums with the piano so bass so the bass drum is basically the bass note on the piano and uh, that they really support the drums so that's important here on reggaeton beats then the bass is just basic i made two really straightforward on each bass note so e g d and a and then all together we have a really nice reggaeton beat yeah now the signal chain so the signal chain for the kick is as followed you have a parametric EQ, uh, parametric eq added here you see the um yeah how i set it up um just a little bit low mids cut it a little bit the mid a little bit down then also the treble the highs a little bit down yeah, it depends on the sample you use, but it's really good to sometimes just low pad, um, make a low cut a little bit also on the kick to, to let it come through a little bit more, as well as make it a little bit shorter, like I did here with the envelope, um, a little bit shorter. That's good to, yeah, if you have a heavy bass, to make it a little bit tighter. And then on the snare, I also added just a high pass filter filter on the shaker again a high pass filter and also a little cut on the treble because it on the highs because it's a little bit overlapped with the piano and the guitar so i just had to cut it a little bit yeah it's also always good on the shaker then on the hi-hat just also again high pass it perk the same everything important to make room for the bass for the kick it's just good to add a low cut, um, a high pass filter, and yeah, the open head, just leave it like this. On the um, guitar, I added a parametric EQ, like you see it here. I boosted the high mids, then I cut it out the sub again. Then the second parametric EQ, I just cut it out again, this bass region around uh, 190 hertz. Um, and then I added a PTQX, it's a free EQ um, um, plugin which you can really use to give a flavor, to give color to your instruments and boosted the highs a little bit with it. Then with the CLA76 stereo compressor I made it a little bit tighter and just um, yeah, made, the, made the attack, the transients a little bit yeah, weaker because I didn't like it so much on the guitar if the transients are very hard. So yeah, that, that's that. And with the reverb, I just made a light drum, um, yeah, really light reverb, um, like a small 
uh, studio reverb just to give it a little bit of a bass so that it's a little bit um, yeah tighter in the mix and it has a foundation in the mix so yeah then the keys the piano I just again added a high pass filter then again here an EQ just some adjustments slight adjustments again with DQ make only slight adjustments not too heavy cuts or boosts because it's not so good and I added again a stereo um, my CLA 76 compressor um, yeah again I added a very fast attack because I wanted to yeah again reduce the transients a little bit so that it's not too heavy the transients on the piano and also make it a little bit tighter and a little bit reduce the dynamic range a little bit so that it's a little bit yeah that it sounds yeah just just a little bit better in the mix then again reverb a little bit wider reverb here on the um, fl keys more decay time so it's a little bit heavier and then again the ptqx just to give it the color to color it a little bit to make it a little bit yeah to give the highs a little bit more uh, character and yeah then finally on the bass I added again a CLA 76 then the PTEQ to make it a little bit heavier um, and that's basically it on the master again the PTEQX it's really so nice such a nice plugin I don't use it always as much as this time but it's really nice to use it to give it a glue in the end also on the master to glue the whole mix together like you see here I set it up to give it a little bit of a glue then the soft clipper just here the threshold on minus 4.4 db and here the post gain on 76 percent and at the end the uh, also uh, again a compressor with these settings um yeah and then the Julian loudness made it so it's a really good loudness and yeah just that's my beat. I hope you like it. I hope you learned something from it. Yeah, please subscribe and yeah.